Hey, what's cracking YouTube? I'm Brandon. Welcome to Da Vinci's Alchemist, your blue collar guide to drinking well and stinking pretty. And I am in a smoke filled backyard uh, at my house and it is terrible out here right now. Lots of fires going on around the outs, uh, outskirts of the city of Portland and there's a few in the city of Vancouver kind of uh, on the outskirts as well and it is causing this massive amount of smoke. Hopefully this will all die down soon, but in the interim, it gave me the idea to present to you guys my top seven fragrances that have a nice prominent smoky note. Speaking of smokiness, I'm gonna have myself a nice little glass of Isla Scotch because, uh, well, everything's turned into shit right now, so cheers. Aw, the note of smoke in perfumery, to me, is pretty kick-ass. It lends a certain amount of texture, a certain amount of structure, and when combined with the right other uh, properties and notes in perfumery, man, it, it, you get great compositions out of it. So straight out of the gate, we're gonna kind of run the gamut on this. Um, I'm gonna throw a couple of, uh, you know, some mainstream stuff, and then I'm gonna go into some, you know, some higher end stuff. So to st start off this top seven smoky fragrances, I've got Anubis Kiss from Alexandria Fragrances. So it is an inspired expression from Black Afghano. It's an Udi cannabis with smoke, resins it's kind of linear and uh at least to my nose and honestly it's got this slight little bit of powderiness to it not 100 percent sure i would recommend wearing this in an office situation or you know if you're a school teacher because well you don't want to get kicked out honestly that cannabis note is relatively prominent in this at least to me definitely one i think you should check out however so that's anubis kiss from alexandria fragrances next one is a recent acquisition of mine and that is from john vervados and that is dark rebel writer Let's try not to spend too much time appreciating the kick-assery of this particular bottle, and let's talk about how badass this smells. It's kind of a sweet, sticky patchouli, a little bit of a rum note. There's a nice leathery, smoky incense vibe going on. Slight pinch of tobacco, at least in my opinion. And there's a decent amount of green notes coming from that patchouli as well as cipriol. I've heard people say that this smells an awful lot like uh, Dark Rebel itself. While they share the Dark Rebel in their name, to me that's the only thing that uh, is similar. They are both dark, they're both rich, but this one has its own sort of vibe, its own sort of appeal. Check it out if you get a chance. John Vervados, Dark Rebel Rider. I would like to bring to your attention a classic. This, over the generations, has been marketed as a fragrance towards women. 100% unisex in my opinion. This is Shalimar from Guerlain. There's a nice soft leather, vanilla, little bit of citrus undertones just a hint of animalics and it's all backed up by the most wispy smoky incense ladies i love the smell of this on you fellas don't sleep on it try it out for yourself works great on everyone's skin that's shalimar from guerlain going right up into the fourth fragrance on this list this one comes from the house of serge luton this is chergi a lot of people know all about this this is a kick-ass fragrance this is rich and deep, and aside from that smoky incense, you get this kind of ambery, honeyed tobacco. Throw a little hay and sandalwood for a bit of texture into the mix, and you got yourself one seriously killer, sweet, airy, smoky fragrance. That is Churgi from Serge Luton. This next one, to me, is the epitome of an LA woman. Just like that song from The Doors, man, this is gorgeous. To me, this really evokes the image of the character that is played by Brigitte Nielsen in Beverly Hills Cop 2. This is Los Angeles from Gallivant Perfumes. Like I said, that gorgeous Amazonian woman just pops into my head every time I put this on. I get this kind of red lipstick, this nice fruit forward sensibility. Man, you remember how she had that, that kind of uh, short, blonde, cropped hair? Those legs, those legs that went all the way up. Oh, wait, what were we talking about? And that cigarette vibe, man, that Cade oil that's in this gives this, this nice little, like I said, it's Brigitte Nielsen smoking a cigarette in an all white leather jumpsuit, high heels on. Okay, we gotta stop talking about this because I'm getting a semi. Do yourself a favor, give this one a try. Great house, and this is a great offering from that house, Los Angeles from Gallivant Perfumes. Next one up is a UK house, uh, independent house, uh, by the name of Rook Perfumes, and this is Amber. Dead serious, 100%. This is an amazing fragrance. This has so many elements that I love. It's got a little bit of sweetness. It's got a little bit of a punch. Uh, honestly, to me, 
It's quite literally like drinking a glass of this on this nice, soft, pillowy bed of marshmallow. There's a great little bit of sweetness in this. Like I said, it's got kind of that pillowy texture, that marshmallowy texture. It's not over cloying or anything like that, but it really brings together the, uh, the medicinal, smoky, leathery note that is in this. Overlaid on top of all of that is that nice golden amber. This is not your mother's amber. This is not your father's amber. This is an amber for a new time and a new age. I super love this and I highly recommend it. Again, that's Rook Perfumes, that's amber. Last one on the list, and you really didn't think I wasn't gonna include this, did you? Because I tell you what, this is the situation in the life I'm living right now. This is City on Fire from Imaginary Authors. Burnt Match Head, Forest Forward Resins and Berries. This is woody, this is gorgeous. The smoke note is nice and prominent. I love the fact that it's in your face. I love the fact that it stays throughout the life of the fragrance and it blends really well in the dry down with all the other notes as they start to peek through a little bit more. If you're looking for something to test your perception of what a fragrance should smell like, I highly suggest you get City on Fire. And I certainly hope that Josh Meyer has not created a self-fulfilling prophecy and we're able to get those fires under control and Portland doesn't burn down. Again, topping out this list of top seven smoky fragrances is City on Fire from Imaginary Authors. Thank you so much everyone for sticking around to the end of this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please feel free to do so now. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to beat the shit out of that notification bell so you know when I drop future videos. And don't forget to tell your friends and your friends' friends and their friends' sisters about Da Vinci's Alchemist. I sincerely hope everyone is doing well and that you're taking care of yourself and each other. And I hope that uh, all of my neighbors that's experiencing all these forest fires right now are staying safe and doing well. Perhaps now, more than ever, it's important to always remember, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, don't forget to keep calm, stink pretty. I'll see you guys on the next one.